Welcome to ITU Telecom World 2017 from Busan, the Republic of Korea. I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today by Mr. Tomomi Takagi, who is the CFO of Melody International. Mr. Takagi, thank you very much indeed for being with us today. Yeah, thank you. Uh, it's my pleasure to be here. Now, I'd like to talk to you about your SME. You're using smart technologies to transform lives. Perhaps you could tell us a little bit about uh, what you're doing there. Uh, sure, yeah. We are uh, a prena uh, perinatal telemedicine company. And uh, uh, so, uh, you know, we are uh, developing devices and uh, telemedicine platform for pregnant women uh, all over the world. Uh, our uh, mobile CTG, uh, which consists of a fetus heart rate monitor and a contraction monitor, and together we call it a mobile CTG, and uh, this will uh, uh, give a doctor, you know, how uh, the uh, baby is doing. Uh, you know, if if, uh, if the baby is doing fine or not, and uh, remo uh, and uh, remotely, uh, you can you know the, the doctor can see uh, the baby's condition. And how do these work exactly? Okay. Um, well, our um, mobile CTG is much uh, sm uh, smaller and lighter uh, than the conventional CTG that is uh, sitting in the doctor's office. Um, so the uh, you know and the, it has a. a, a data transmission uh, function so uh, the well the, these are the sensors and it will give you the data uh, to the to the monitors you know you can use uh, conventional monitors you know like a laptop or you know these uh, uh, well smartphones and so on and uh, this is the the uh, fetus heart rate monitor fetus heart rate and this is a contraction and uh, you know the doctors can see uh, you know, that tell, you know, the uh, baby's condition uh, by looking at this, uh, this data. So, uh, you know, in, uh, well, developing, uh, well, uh, well, developing countries where there is uh, no obstetricians or very few obstetricians, you know, uh, you need to uh, go uh, miles away to see a doctor. But uh, with these kind of uh, telemedicine devices, uh, the pregnant women do not have to go all the way to see a doctor. So it's relatively inexpensive then? Yes, uh, well, we are aiming to, uh, uh, to make it relative, well, very reasonably priced, uh, you know, like uh, uh, half, half of the, the conventional devices. Uh, but we don't know. It all depends on, you know, how many we can sell. <laughs> of course, because, I mean, if you're in a, a village, a remote village in Uganda or something like that, yes. then of course you might not have it to hand all the time, but you may be able to send it to them or, uh, or you might be able to share it amongst, a, 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 I suppose, a whole health region or something like that, isn't it? Yes, yes. exactly. Actually, you know, we are experimenting uh, in Thailand for two years now and we are uh, cooperating with uh, Chiang Mai University and uh, Chiang Mai is located uh, farther in the north of Thailand and uh, you know the, uh, the outskirts of Chiang Mai uh, city uh, it's very rural and uh, there are very few obstetricians in rural hospitals so uh, they are using our system, our devices uh, at, uh, uh, they send it to the local hospitals and uh, where you know there are uh, well general medical doctors or maybe you know midwives and the pregnant women go to the local hospitals and then uh, they use it, yeah, using our monitors and uh, send the data to the uh, obstetrician at the Chiang Mai University. And uh, the obstetrician will read uh, the data and uh, you know, tell what to do. That's great. And what, um, in terms of uh, developing and developed markets, what mm -hmm. impact do you hope to have? Okay, so in developing markets, um, we think we can, you know, uh, make a real difference in uh, in a way uh, I just uh, described, and also uh, in uh, well developed countries. Uh, I don't know about the situation in other developed countries, but uh, at least in Japan, you know, actually the number of obstetricians is decreasing instead of increasing. Uh, you know, medical doctors uh, in general is, in, is increasing, but not obstetricians. Why? I don't know, <laughs> but uh, anyway, the, so there are uh, many areas actually, even in a crowded country like, like Japan, uh, where there are very few obstetricians available. 
So the, uh, sometimes, you know, pregnant women have to drive over an hour to see a doctor. And uh, it uh, may become a very uh, big burden for her. Uh, but, you know, if she lives in a rural area in northern parts of Japan where you, you know, you have a, uh, a lot of snow. And uh, so, uh, you know, she can avoid going to see a doctor regularly uh, using this device. And uh, also, you know, another um, trend that I think is true for most of the developed countries is that uh, women are having children later in their life, right? Which is called late childbearing, right? And uh, this has a significant risk to childbearing, you know, just, just having the baby, you know, later in her life. So, uh, you know, pregnant women often uh, feel unsecured and unsafe and uh, with this kind of monitor, she uh, checks the uh, uh, fetus condition uh, whenever she wants, you know, at home, you know, rather than going to a hospital. Yes, I mean, you can spend an hour just driving across Tokyo, so uh, you don't even have to be in a, uh, yes. in a rural, uh, yes, rural uh, community uh, mm -hmm. a million miles away. Um, and, and what's, uh, you, obviously you're here at ITU Telecom World, and uh, there, there has been obviously a great uh, focus on SMEs here, which is great mm -hmm. uh, for you, I, but I wanted to find out really what's the value of, for you of being here? Uh, okay, yeah, it is a, a great opportunity for us to uh, take our ideas and innovations to a global market. And, uh, you know, this is a fairly unique event for bringing together uh, such a uh, wide selection of countries uh, to, uh, to a site. And have you uh, seen other things that have inspired you here? Mm -hmm. uh, yes, uh, you know, I've... Uh, yeah, uh, well, I haven't had a chance to call on uh, other uh, exhibi uh, exhibitors as, uh, so much. Uh, you know, this is the first day, uh, but I'm, I'm going to do that uh, uh, in the coming days. So, uh, but and, yeah. And you'll be able to share, share your knowledge as well, I'm sure, in your experience. And, and finally, what's your main message to participants here? And, uh, and uh, is there anything specifically that you, you, might, you would like to impart to them? Uh, right. Um, yeah, we are, you know, startup uh, company uh, with uh, limited resources. Uh, as, so uh, we are looking for uh, local partners uh, in, uh, well, particularly in developing countries in Asia, uh, where we think we can, you know, uh, make a, a real difference. And also, we are looking for investors uh, who can work with us to take our ideas to global market. Well, we wish you the very best of luck, and uh, you've got a great product there, so I, I hope it, uh, it goes uh, from strength to strength. Thank you very much for being with us in the studio, and we look forward to catching up with you sometime in the future. Thank you very much, Max. Thank you.